A rubric is a great tool that benefits you and your students. It defines what's expected and what's gonna be assessed. A rubric in D2L is even more awesome. Once it's created, it makes your grading more fair and saves you time. First, we have to build a rubric. It's easier to build a rubric in D2L if you have already created one on paper. Even if it's just a draft of a rubric, you want a general idea of how you're going to grade that particular assignment. I have a rubric in mind, so let's walk through the mechanics of creating it in D2L. From the home page of the course, click rubrics on the top of the screen. Now click new rubric. First, you need to name your rubric. This rubric will be for a discussion board, so I'm going to call it discussion. Just below the name of your rubric are some options. First is the type. You can choose between holistic or analytic. Analytic is the default option. This gives you multiple criterion rubrics that assess granular achievement on an activity. This is the recommended option. The holistic option is single criterion rubrics that assess overall achievement on an activity. Next, you get to select the scoring. Points is your default option. The rubric will calculate a numeric score with all criteria weighted equally. Custom points allows the rubric to calculate a numeric score with some criteria weighted more heavily than others. No score means the rubric will display only text feedback and not a number. Percentage, which only shows if you're using a holistic rubric, gives a percentage that can be assigned based on the level score of the associated rubric. Let's use the custom points option, so some of the criteria can be weighted higher. I like to create the grid of my rubric before I fill in all of the details. To add more level of scoring, you click the plus button. To delete, you use the trash can. I want three criteria and three levels. To add criteria, you scroll to the bottom and click add criterion. If you need to delete criteria, you use the trash can on the right hand side. Now my rubric has three criteria and three levels. All of the level and criteria text, as well as point values, can be changed by clicking in the corresponding field or box. A little bit of camera magic and my rubric's complete. My levels have been renamed proficient, novice, and no evidence. My criteria has been renamed quality, timeliness, response. I've altered the point values and I've given some basic criteria for each category. Now let's look at some of the additional options you have with your rubric. Scroll down and expand the options. First, we have rubric visibility. Choose if the rubric will be visible to students and when. D12 has three options for rubric visibility and the option to hide scores, both listed under options. Since this rubric is for a discussion, I want my students to know the criteria and how they will be assessed. So I'm going to make the rubric visible to students and I'm gonna leave the score visible. After you've made your selections, click close and you've created a rubric. If you ever need to edit the rubric, you click the drop down arrow to the next of the rubric and click edit. Make the changes and you're done. Just remember that once a rubric has been used for grading, it's locked and cannot be edited or deleted. Check out the next videos on how to associate rubrics to grade discussions and assignments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me a comment on what D2L video I should make next.